New intel suggests Russia is prepared to launch an attack before the Olympics end, sources say. Here's a summary of the article. United Kingdom Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said Friday that he heard, clearly, from the Russian government that they had no intention of invading Ukraine. Speaking at a news conference in Moscow after talks with Russia's defense minister Sergei Shoigu amid Russia-West tensions over Ukraine, Wallace said, I heard clearly from the Russian government that they had no intention of invading Ukraine. The UK will look at the actions that back up Russia's assurances that Moscow will not invade Ukraine, Wallace said. We urged dialogue as a way through to address any concerns that Russia the Russian government may have, Wallace said. Wallace said he would put the level of UK-Russia relations, above zero, following his meeting with Shoigu Friday, after Russian state news agency RIA Novosti earlier reported that Shoigu had told Wallace that the level is close to zero. Of course Britain has some ongoing issues with the Russian government, not least, the poisoning and deployment of nerve agent, by agents of the Russian state in Salisbury, and the requests we have, obviously, out for the people suspected of committing that crime. And that is ongoing and needs to be resolved, Wallace said. Wallace went on to say that he looks forward to having an ongoing relationship with his Russian counterpart. This post received a score of 35,000, with an upvote ratio of 84%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. In years gone by, nations spent months going through intelligence and decoding communications to find out when the enemy will make its move. And today, we are reading it on Twitter that Putin is gonna go in the next two days. Amazing. We still do. The only thing that's changed is the amount of static noise. There's a huge amount of misinformation and counterintelligence operations. Layers upon layers. The Russians have always been experts of this. But now they have a well-trained military in the game as as well. Dunno. It's really stupid gaslighting. Russia is just moving troops around their own country. You are overreacting. It's NATO that's the aggressor. Anyone that has played any strategy game or read any history. You always move troops to the border before invasion. It's so stupid to even deny it. They turned off allied victory but still sharing vision. Combine this with the articles about the emergency meeting at the WH this morning. Joe Biden has held a hastily arranged call with other NATO and EU leaders. Biden's call to allies followed a situation room meeting at the White House to discuss the latest intelligence on the Russian military buildup. A European diplomat said that the US had asked for the urgent call with NATO allies and the heads of the EU Council and Commission, because, it seems like they have some new intelligence they want to share that has made them skittish. Of note there also seems to have been an uptick in countries ordering embassy and civilian evacuations from Ukraine today. They think there is credible intelligence that the invasion has been given the go-ahead. Really got to watch Ukraine's reaction to all of this. Zelensky has been downplaying the crisis before but I don't know if he still is. Think they were doing that to keep folks calm. Wouldn't surprise me if behind closed doors they are thinking similar. This is what people don't understand. He needs to keep his country together. He isn't going to run around like screaming, war is coming. You wonder if there are hardcore invasion resistance plans in place and ready to go by now? They keep up a nonchalant attitude in public, but they need to be ready to fight a near all-out defensive war on a moment's notice for possibly the survival of an independent Ukraine as a nation. I mean it would wreak havoc on the economy, but large-scale demolitions of bridges, railroad lines, ETC would even have to be considered if large Russian conveys headed toward Kiev, right? Anything to buy more time to mount a defense. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.